Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog and welcome back to the Reptarium at BHB. I tell you what, it is so amazing to be back here and you know that I'm going to go revisit some of my animals that I miss so much. Of course, starting with my girl Bella because after all, Bella is where it all kind of started, right? When I first kind of addition to the Reptarium, way before we had the Reptarium and I tell you what, it is so amazing to see my animals. You know, being gone for 12, 13 days was incredible. It was an amazing adventure, but missing these guys was unbelievable. I mean, I tell you, being back here, I am so happy to see my animals again. Look at this beautiful girl right here. Bella, I loved you so much. Were you a good girl when I was gone? I'm sure she was really good, but the fact is, is that it is beautiful to be back home. Let's just go ahead and check up on everything that's going on here. Uh, and you know it's going to be about Drogo, right? So let's go check out Drogo. And of course, I had to take Drogo down and just play with him a little bit. I missed him so much. Obviously, we did see the sloth at Sequest, which was super cute. But I tell you what, just between me and you, I think Drogo Drogo is even cuter. He's uh, He was awake today this morning when I came in, which I thought was really interesting. Normally he's on uh, the sleep mode during the day and only up at night, but today he's very adventurous. I miss this guy. He is so absolutely cute. And I know Jay and Laura and everyone's been working really hard with him, just kind of getting him used to it, habituated, settled in. He's doing absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, we have a new humidifier being installed today just to keep the humidity perfect. That way we can dial it in really, really well. And I think that's going to be great for Drogo, but it's so cool to be back with him. I tell you, after 12 days of not being around my monkey here, I tell you what, he is so cute. Just look at that cute little face. I tell you what, I love this guy so much. He's like, oh, let me get that camera. Let me get that camera. Oh my, <laughs> there he goes. For some reason, he loves cameras. He is so funny and it's gonna be amazing. Now I get to spend every single day with him, bond with him a little bit more. And that's the thing, you know, bonding is so important when it comes to sloths. So I definitely need to spend a lot of time with him. So it was a bummer that we were only with him for a few days before we went on this long trip. Now that I'm back, uh, as soon as I came in the room, he was like, Dad, what is going on? It was so absolutely cute. He climbed right over and came on me. And, and like I said, now he's just wanting to adventure. He's really awake for the day Time. Again, very unusual for these guys to be awake so 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 much. He is on fire today, ready to roll. So he's already fed a little bit. What are you doing, Drogo? I think he's he wants to climb the trees. Boy. He wants to try the trees, but not in that cage. You'd be in trouble if you were in that cage, you silly monkey. So I'm going to go ahead and put Drogo back in his enclosure and uh, just say hi to the rest of the animals for sure. So of course I climbed into Ivy's enclosure and immediately she came out of the water just to come say hi to me. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I tell you what, it's crazy to me. I mean, again, I don't know. Maybe she missed me. Can snakes have that type of emotion? I'm not 100% sure, but literally, I climbed in this cage, and she was in the water, and she immediately climbed right up, and you can see now she's just kind of smelling me, climbing up me, and stuff like that. It is bizarre, you know what I mean? You expect it from your dog, you expect it from even Drogo, you know? But you don't expect it from an anaconda. It is so cool. I feel, you know, again, I had one of the most amazing adventures of my life, but the fact is, is that being back here is absolutely incredible, and seeing this is just crazy. I mean, look at this. You can't make this up, man. I'm not making her do it. Look at, I'm just like, I'm no hands here, and she's just climbing up to me like, Dad, I missed you so much. It is the most adorable thing in the world. I literally don't even know what to say about it. I mean, crazy. It's. I mean, guys, I want people to have this experience so bad. I want to figure out a way so that people can come in and do this because she'll do this to almost anyone. I mean, you know, every time I have, you know, my friends over, they, she climbs up to him, she smells him. It's like she's just curious. She wants to come over and play and hang out. And I think it's absolutely incredible. And uh, I almost forgot how cool it was. You know, I mean, getting in here and seeing her climb up like this, wow, I tell you. What an animal, right? So I'm just gonna sit in here and chill for a little bit, enjoy my girl, let her climb up on me wherever she wants. She can come all the way on top of me if she wants to because uh, this is pretty amazing and definitely something I missed a whole lot when I was gone.
don't care how many times this happens, it's still shocking to me every single time. I mean, I don't even get it. I mean, you can see now she's a quarter of the way out, climbed out on her own, just hanging out with me. Um, I don't know what she's gonna do next, as far as like, I don't know, she's gonna come all the way out and just hang out on me, but she just seems to be sniffing around, just hanging out with her dad and, and loving it. So, uh, you know, I tell you, I wish all my animals seemed like they miss me as much. I wish Lori seemed like she missed me as much as Ivy, because uh, this is this is wonderful. I love it. It's, uh, it, it definitely makes my heart glow. Girl Matilda, she's just cruising around right now. And remember when we saw those giant tortoises, the Aldalber tortoises at Reptile Garden? I mean, I thought Matilda was big, but I'm telling you what, she is absolutely gonna get so much larger. And as you can see, she's like, Dad, can I come out for a little run around? She just is kind of cruising around. So what do you say we take her out, let her run around because uh, she's, come on girl, come on over here. Definitely gonna work on target training more with her. Get this door fixed. I know I've been saying this forever, but now that I'm back, I can actually do it. Let's go ahead, get her out. Let her just run around a little bit. She is incredible. And I love the fact now again that she loves running around and kind of spending time outside seeing everything. The only thing we have to worry about is that sometimes she like comes over here and she wants to eat the leaves and stuff like that inside the cages. So she's kind of big. If she ever wants to smash her head through the cage, that might be a problem. Other than that, she is loving just cruising around and again, and she's 150 pounds. Those ones that we saw were over 550 pounds. Think about that. 550 pounds. She's only 150, so she's got a long way to go. But you gotta remember, they were over 100 years old. She's only 15, but nevertheless, very happy to be back seeing her as well. She's so incredible. Believe it or not, I'm in the new colubrid room right now downstairs. Uh, this is the one that we just put in beforehand. Of course, all these animals are revamped and ready for brumation. So here within the next uh, week or so, we're gonna be dropping the temperatures. I mean, just take a look at this beautiful albino tangerine hunter and milk snack. I mean, these guys are incredible. And it's so cool to finally see this room come together, right? I mean, it's done. Again, it goes all the way down here. Again, these will all be filled up with colubrids over here. And then it comes around this side over here. And these are the rest of the colubrids right down here and again you can see these guys all have snakes in them stuff like that that are ready to go this place will go dark here in the next week or so and then start to cool off i mean look at that animal <laughs> doggy of course that is a scaleless silver queen which is a ghost that is just absolutely beautiful so these guys are going to be cooling off and i want to show you what we did when we were gone i shouldn't say we what we had done is basically we have a pipe that comes in from outside way up here it's piped in here and then it's just right here and it has a fan that is hooked to a 
thermostat and so we can actually control the amount of air that comes in right we set this thermostat to say 55 degrees and the fan will come on sucking cold air from outside because of course it's Michigan and this will cool this room down to 55 once it hits 55 the fan goes off the louver shuts and then it actually won't get any colder than that so this is kind of the setup that we have for the Kluber room in order to cool it off down here so absolutely gonna work out perfectly so excited about that and uh, it's cool to finally see the Kluber room because I hadn't seen it done since I left and of course you guys know that ball python breeding season is literally upon us here sometime in the next couple days we're gonna be rearranging all the animals into their breeding groups and there's a lot of new animals that are up to side this is just a pastel camo banana right here so basically this was the the Barney ball with the pastel didn't turn out that well you guys know that but genetically it's just a really beautiful snake and all these animals are going to be ready to breed this year a lot of new stuff this is just a blue-eyed leucistic that is a little boy that might be big enough to breed but we also have all our adults so basically what happened is I've kind of rearranged all the groups on paper now we have to actually rearrange them in the actual groups in the racks and stuff like that and with any luck uh, we'll be doing that in the next few days and then within a week we're gonna have our first male and female ball pythons in right so it's crazy that we're still hatching we're we're still cutting eggs but at the same time we're gonna start breeding again and the majority of the females look really good I mean really really good as far as their weight so they should have a really excellent year if everything goes well with breeding which I'm sure it will and guess what when we're gone we did have a pretty cool clutch hatch too and by cool I just mean there was some really beautiful babies in here there was actually a pinstripe bred to a banana fire spinner blast so there's just a lot of genes right there's banana there's pastel there's fire there's pinstripe and there's spider and it looks like this is the all gene animal right here this is actually a banana Banana fire spinner blast right there and then we just have a little bit of a spinner right here looks like a fire really beautiful animal right here looks like a banana lemon blast fire right here that's just really blown up this is actually a fire spinner blast so again this is a pastel it's a fire it's a pinstripe and it's a spider just not with the banana in it and then we just have a couple other really good beautiful steaks right here a banana pinstripe a little spider right here looks like this is probably a fire banana here so it's always cool to come home to some baby snakes and I always mention how sometimes just being gone for a short while things just seem to grow a lot I and mean, we were only gone for a couple weeks and Perdita looks so much bigger and she's just so absolutely beautiful again a wonderful snake it's so cool to be back and see these animals and uh, be able to be back sharing it with people as well so it's really cool although I love seeing other people's animals and traveling around is great being home is definitely where your heart is there's no doubt about that and now that I'm back I did want to address one little thing you know I don't want you guys to think that I took it lightly about this pandemic happening and here I am traveling across the country we were super safe I mean you guys have to understand that everywhere we went we had masks on on occasion I would take a mask off just to do a piece of the camera when I wasn't around people then the mask went right back on and the most time we were just really in our own bubble in our RV right we weren't around people at all but we were super safe I mean we didn't want to take any chances with anybody at all and I just didn't want you guys to think that I was just gallivanting around not caring because I do really care not only about myself but all the people around me and for the next 14 days I will be self quarantined to only here in home not going anywhere else no stores no restaurants no places at all I'll literally be home or here and I'm gonna even try to keep my distance from my crew if I can just to make sure but we're all feeling good and again we were so safe on this trip I'd be very surprised if anything happened that being said I didn't want you guys to think that I didn't take it lightly I mean I did you know I just had to get out and go adventure and I'm glad I did it was about the mental part and everything else not to mention to celebrate my son's 21st birthday so uh, I just wanted to address that you know Listen, I, I wasn't out there unsafely. We were doing everything we can do, and I know it's hard to really get that on film, but I just wanted to assure you that that was the case. I tell you what, guys, it is incredible to be back. Don't get me wrong, the trip was amazing, but to be back home, around my animals, around my people, I tell you what, I am loving it, and I'm so, so overjoyed to see all these guys again and spend the next, you know, six or eight weeks home not doing anything else. So regardless, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and check out this playlist right here. I think that you'll enjoy it, and it does help my click-through rate helps the channel on this side right here you can subscribe to my podcast channel where we talk about all kinds of good stuff over the next few weeks on this side i hope that you're subscribed to this blog channel please do me a favor and turn your post notifications on have a wonderful day remember be kind to somebody and i promise i'll see you tomorrow